Hey, what's up guys? I hope you're all doing well. So today I have something cool to show you. So it's a video projector, but the cool thing about it is its size and portability. When I think of a video projector, I think of something huge, like the size of a video game console or something. But look at this. Dude, this thing is tiny. So I actually got out my tape measure to see how big it is and its widest side is two inches. So I'll see if I can get the camera to focus in on it. Okay, there we go. So this is the front, this is where it projects. Um, it's made by Rift 6, that's their logo on the top. On this side, this is just a little spin wheel to focus it. Then you can use like a micro SD card, that's an MHL input. Speaker on the side and then on the back, another speaker, headphone jack, power. And this is where you charge it. So you guys, like I said, this is made by Rift 6, and honestly, I didn't even know this thing existed. So they actually reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to take a look at it, and I looked into it, the reviews were really good. Then I started thinking about some of the possibilities I could use it for, which I'm gonna talk about today. So I definitely wanted to check it out. So you guys, really quick, I'll show you the box and everything it comes in, but before I do that, I know I don't do a lot of product reviews on my channel. Out of almost 2,000 videos on my channel, I think I've done maybe like two or three product reviews. So so even though we are reviewing a product and this video is sponsored by Rift 6, I do honestly think this is a really cool product and I just had to show it to you guys. Okay, so here's the box that it comes in. Box is pretty cool. It also comes with this flexible tripod thing. Dude, this is actually really cool and honestly, I'm considering using this for like some of my vlogs because I can screw this right into the bottom of my camera. So that's really cool. It also comes with a remote and this contraption actually hooks onto the cube and that's how you're able to hook it to the tripod. It comes with a bunch of cords like power cord, HDMI, and then it comes with like this cord that connects to the cube to an HDMI and power all at the same time. Also, the cords are about three feet in length each. Now, the battery life is about 90 minutes, so that's like an hour and a half. But the cool thing about it is if you're watching like a movie, something that's gonna be more than an hour and a half, you can just plug it into the charger and it can be charging as you're going. So a couple things that I actually got separately, I ended up just getting this. This is like an adapter. So if I have like my Xbox hooked into my TV, I can just unplug it from my TV, Hook it into this adapter, hook it into the cube, and I'm good to go. I also got this HDMI to lightning adapter for hooking it up to my phone. It's super useful because the thing works with your phone, tablet, laptop, pretty much anything. So one of the really cool things about it is it's so small, so it's super portable. It pretty much turns any blank wall into a screen. And as far as the resolution, it's really good, up to about 120 inches. But 120 inches, that's a huge screen. But I just think it opens up a lot of possibilities. You know how when you're on your phone showing something to your friends and everyone's like gathering around and not everyone can see it? If you just pop it on a wall with a projector, everyone can see it and it's huge. So I've actually been messing around with it a little bit this past week and I'll show you guys my setup in a minute. But I was thinking of some good uses and some bad uses for it. Like living room wall, good idea. At school during class, bad idea. Maybe you're getting ready for bed, you wanna watch a YouTube video, slap it up on the ceiling, good idea. In the library where you're supposed to be quiet, bad idea. Watching a movie with some friends outside, that's a good idea. Watching a movie while driving, bad idea. <laughs> So this is my current setup when I'm eating lunch, watching YouTube videos. I saw this thing they did on the website where they like curl the legs up so it holds the phone. I thought that was really cool. And I just used this wall to project it on. I'll turn off the lights because it looks the best with all the lights off. And you don't really need this extra cord, that green one. I just use it and I plug in some extra speakers. It has its own internal speaker, but I like to have an external speaker if I'm watching like a movie or something. So you can just control everything from your phone if you're watching something on your phone and you can just watch it on the big screen. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. It feels like having a movie theater in my house. So when I do live streams, I usually have a face cam in like one of the corners of the screen. And I usually do a giveaway during my live streams for every five new people that subscribe. And there's usually something on the screen indicating how many subscribers we've had out of five. And I just made this as an idea of a possibility. I don't know if it's possible to like hook this up to a counter to make it automatic, but I'm sure someone's smart enough to do something like that. But I thought it would be cool like in the webcam to have something in the background. It doesn't even have to be a sub counter. It could be just like a cool 
cool moving background or something, but it was just an idea I had. Also, I was thinking artists could use something like this. I'm thinking maybe a digital artist could take their image that they created maybe on their tablet, and if they wanted to do like a physical drawing or painting, they could just project it on the canvas and just trace it. Or even if you wanted to paint like an image on a wall or something, I don't know if it would work. I haven't personally tested this, but I thought it'd be cool. So you guys, like I said at the beginning of the video, I think this thing's really cool, and the possibilities are almost endless for the things you can do with it. But I'm interested to hear from you guys. Do you have any other ideas, some creative ideas for uses for this thing? If so, let me know in the comments. Also guys, if you do want one, they do retail for about $2.99. But if you do want to purchase one, you can click the link in the description and you'll get 20% off. So that's pretty cool. So I wanted to thank Riff6 for that and for just sponsoring this video, introducing me to this product. Like I said, guys, I think it's really cool. I hope you guys do too. But as always, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time. The Teotakas are attacking. No, 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 stop it. We're going up against the Great White. Oh, oh, he almost got me, dude. We're at level 24. Do you think we can take out a catfish? Oh, 13. Oh, so yeah.